guys. Uh, let's bow in. Everybody chill it. And me. And you're probably wondering who this is. Well, this is Miss Tracy Tang. She is a white belt. And you know why I brought her today? Because I'm going to tell you guys something. Alright? So there is an actual, there's a martial arts saying. Okay? It means to have a beginner's mind. Alright? So all grand grandmasters, they used to always talk about having a beginner's mind. So there's a really good example, and really young children are a very good example of this, okay? It's when we look at something, right, for the very, very first time. Like, have you ever seen, like, a little kid look at a pair of keys, right? When those keys are hanging in front of them, they're just like, they're like, oh my god, this is the coolest thing. They've never seen anything like this before, and they're obsessed with these keys. They want to touch them and look at them and feel them, because their mind, they don't know what it is yet, right? And then when you get older, you're like, oh, it's just a key. You throw it to the side, or you put it in your pocket. But the thing is, to have a beginner's mind, right, in martial arts, is to, is to treat everything as if it's the first time you've done it, okay? Because if you look at a white belt, they usually have, they usually have so much enthusiasm and excitement, right? But if, if you look at a black belt, they have so much discipline. But you want to have that balance, that yin and yang, right? You want to have that enthusiasm, but also have that discipline, okay? And that's a sign of a true master, okay? So somebody who can find something. Even as simple as doing like a beginner uh, punch to the stomach can still, still uh, find something amazing in that and some awe in that, okay? Alright guys, so we're going to get started. So we've got Miss Tracy Tang here. Um, Master Ross going to hurt himself as well, so she's going to uh, do some of the exercises with us. Alright, let's start off with jumping jacks. Ready guys? And go. 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, guys. She got. All right, we're just gonna jog on the spot, jog on the spot, and when I count, you're just gonna jump, touch both your knees, okay? And jog on the spot. Ready and one. Good. Let's go, big key up the stand. Ready two. Hey -ya. Hey -ya. Very good. Ready three. Hey good. Bring it here and bring your hands up like this in front of you. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, ten. Good. So now you're gonna have your hands like this, and you know, every time I count, you're gonna kick and hold your balance. Kick and hold your balance. You're probably gonna fall a little bit. That's okay. Right? We're just warming up, and what you're doing is you're activating, you're stabilizing your muscles so they're ready to fight. Ready? Leg up. And one. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Good. Four. Chop. 
and shut. See how slow that is? One, two, three. Okay? One, two, three. Okay, guys? Alright, so you're gonna have your left hand, your left hand, this one. Left hand. I'm gonna be doing this way so we are like a mirror. We should be both facing this way. Ready? Check it. So even if you're a first hand, you should try to learn this anyways. Jump into a back stance. Hand on your shoulder. Okay? This one comes underneath. So chop high. Okay? Look, I'm in the back stance. I don't change my shoulders or any back stance. Punch. I don't change my stance. It's a short punch. I'm not reaching. Arm chop again. Okay? Good. So now we're going to do it on both sides. So we're going here. Chop. Punch. Chop. Switch to this side. Now put your right hand on the shoulder. This one's up. Make sure it's up. This is down. You don't have a good punch. Boom. Chop. Punch. Chop. Switch. Go left. Chop. Punch. Chop. Switch. All right. Chop. Punch. Chop. Switch. Left. Punch. Chop. Right. Punch. Chop. Left. Punch. Chop. Right. Okay, so try it. So watch Master Ross. Okay, I'm gonna do it slow for you guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that is what I want you guys to practice. Okay, so when I say go, when I say go, we're gonna go like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right away. Okay, I'm gonna show you this way. Watch me. Go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, ready? Try it. And go! Chop, punch, chop! Chop, punch, chop! Good job, try it. Go! Chop, punch, chop! Chop, punch, chop! Good, try it. Go! One, two, three! One, two, three! Good. Go! One, two, three! One, two, three! Go! One, two, three! One, two, three! Go! One, two, three! One, two, three! Ready? Go! One, two, three! One, two, three! One more! Go! One, two, three! One, two, three! Very good! Okay, so the next part of this... Okay guys, the next part... Jump! Punch! Jump! Switch! Jump! Punch! Jump! Your next part... Okay, look, I'm going to step with my left foot and throw a left hook like this, okay? Left hook, all right? So my other hand is up on my face, so look. Chop, punch, chop. Chop, punch, chop. Step, hook. Now, lift your right foot up and throw like a little spin hooking, but don't actually kick, okay? So look, I'm going to throw the hook. Watch my foot. And back. Okay? So one more time. Let's just do that punch. So look. Step punch. Now lift this foot up so you see my feet. Come right back. Very good. Okay? So ready? You're going to step with your left foot. One. Good. Ready? Spin around. Shoot. Right back. Alright, one more time. Step one, spin around, and two. Good. Okay, so now we do the full combo, ready? Chop, punch, chop. Chop, punch, chop. Now look, step. Okay, and I'm up on my tipping toe, ready to spin. Back. All right, so now, let's practice what you do when you do that spin. You're actually going to throw something called a spinning back fist, okay? So look, it goes like this. You spin, back fist. Spin, back fist. Spin, back fist, okay? It's a very powerful punch. All right, so let's go into our fighting stance. So lift this foot up like you're getting ready to do your left foot, like a spin, okay? And look, keep your, keep your left hand up. You're going to spin all the way around with a back fist. But make sure you bring it back. Okay, guys, ready? And one. And two. 
and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. All right, she's gonna come up four punches, okay? Ready, and one. One, two, three, four. That's the same, she turns her body. Very good. And two, one, two, three, four. And three. Thank you, man. Good job, good job. And four. And five, four and a half weight. Good. And six. Good. And seven. Two, three, four. See our hands are up. Very good. And eight. Look at our hands are up. Good. And nine. And last one, ten. Very good, guys. And turn around, face this way. Watch your tummy. And stretch it out. Beginner's mind, okay? 
Uh, it's really important, guys, to keep your enthusiasm and, and pretend, almost pretend like you've never done Taekwondo before. Every time you train, pretend it's your first time training, okay? And that, that's how you develop that mindset, that master's mindset, okay? Um, there's five tenets in Taekwondo, and April I'm going to be talking about one of them, okay? So last month we talked about, in March, we talked about the dominable spirit, all right? To have a spirit you can't dominate. This month, we're going to talk about the next uh, tenet, which is called self-control. Okay, so self-control is extremely important as a black belt. Okay, so as I always tell red belts, okay, if you're a red belt, uh, I don't know if you guys can see the belts above me, uh, but if you're a red belt, that means you're like kind of dangerous, right? Because you're learning all these cool moves, but you're not really, you don't really know how to control, right? So you see a lot of red belts when they're sparring, they actually, they actually hurt people because they have, they have the technique, and they hit hard, but they don't know how to control, right? So, when you get to a black belt, that's when you should be really, really practicing your control, your self-control. Okay, and one way to practice self-control is not just your body, but it's also your mindset, right? It's doing things that you know you should do that are right, even if you don't feel like it, okay? So, maybe I don't feel like doing my homework, but I still do my homework, right? Because that's showing self-control. I'm controlling myself, doing what I know I need to do. Right? Maybe I don't want to do my Taekwondo class today, but I know it's good for me. I know I need to do it. If I don't do it, all my friends who are doing it are going to go ahead of me and they're going to fall behind, right? And that wouldn't be good. That's, that's what happens when you, when you don't have good habits, right? They say success is good habits practiced over and over and over, right? That's how you become successful. Okay, guys? So self-control. Make sure that you're in control of the things that you think are important, okay? And your family thinks are important. Don't let anything stop you from doing those things. Alright guys? Okay, see you in the next class.